What is going on AMC investors? Oh, welcome back to the channel and happy Sunday guys. We have some very, very big news with AMC Entertainment. The short interest numbers are absolutely through the roof. We have other numbers like the amount of shares owned by Citadel and options that just aren't adding up whatsoever that we need to take a look at. And we also have pretty much picture perfect proof. What is going on in this situation? What is the SEC currently doing? And we also have some written communications with Robinhood. That really is the absolute highlight of today's video. You have to see it. They admitted to pretty much suppressing the buy button completely which obviously is entirely illegal we have to take a look at this i know it's been going around but i want to share it with you guys on this channel so guys if that all sounds interesting make sure and subscribe to the channel it is absolutely completely free and if you want to stay up to date on the option plays crypto plays a short squeeze and a long-term plays come join us in that discord the link will be in the description now before we get into amc entertainment i actually want to talk to you guys about one stock that i've been getting a ton of comments about real quick here about 30 seconds on this stock this is ticker symbol aq ST. And right now they're sitting at $4.33 per share and they have price targets upwards of $28 to even $35 per share just in the next couple of months. This is due to a couple things. One, their earnings is coming out, but also due to FDA approval. They're expected to get FDA approval in anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 days, I believe. And if that happens, obviously it could be a major catalyst to make this stock 2, 3, 4, 5, even 6x who knows? But yes, guys, you get a lot of comments about this stock. We talk a lot about it in the Discord, so come join if you want to learn more, more about it. But yes, it is cheap. Yes, it has very high price targets. And yes, an FDA approval is expected to come. Know that if the FDA approval doesn't come, though, the stock is going to sink just like it did last time. If it does come, it is going to skyrocket. Play your risks versus your reward. Do what you think is best. And let's get into AMC Entertainment. As we can see, AMC still holding that very, very critical point of resistance at $40 or support. I should say at $40 per share. It's been very good to see that AMC will not break $40 per share. Yes, it's gone down to 38 and 39, but we don't have daily closes there. It does not stay at that level. So this is very, very important because if we would break down below $40 per share over a couple days time, then we could see the low 30s once again, which obviously nobody wants to see. Nevertheless, I would still hold if that happens, of course. But taking a look at the numbers here, the short interest numbers are pretty much at record highs. These short are shorting this stock like crazy, which just means we have an even bigger opportunity for a short squeeze to actually happen. The short interest is at the short interest is at 20.16%, which is extremely high. The utilization almost 90%, and shares on loan 113.23 million. These are all very big numbers and all squeeze numbers, that is for sure. Now, before we get into the crazy stuff, let I want you guys to think about this throughout the entire video and let me know down in the comments if you have any reasonable explanation for. It. So it says we need to figure this out. The latest 13F SEC filing shows Citadel currently owns over 8 million puts and 6 million calls in AMC. Those calls alone account for 600 million shares, which exceeds the legal float. It says yet Adam Aaron has confirmed we retail investors own 80 plus percent of the float. So what gives? And as you can see, here's the latest filing right here. And you can see all of the numbers valued at $500 million and all of the numbers to go along with it. So what on earth is going on here? They have numbers that add to over the legal float. Yet we as retail investors, Adam Aaron has already confirmed we own 80%. So essentially, if they had all the shares that we currently don't have, they would only be able to have 20%. I think this only means one thing. You let me know down in the comments what that word is, but that is definitely it. Anyways, though, guys, let's move on to the good stuff of today's video. You might have saw this already, but if you didn't, let me share it with you guys. So this is from communications between Robinhood. And as you can see, it's communications with Gretchen Howard, who is Robin's chief operating officer. Take a look at some of these messages also know this term right here pco position close only that doesn't that sound familiar from the robin hood scenario so it says gretchen howard can you call me here's the meet and then it says major liquidity issue we have a pco'd position closed only amc gme nok bb naked cost you get the drill here all of these stocks position closed only now, if we scroll down here, we can see some more information on that here. Uh, we will have to navigate through this NC NSCC issue. We are too big for them to actually shut us down. Okay, Robin Hood. It says we're going to get crucified for PCO. And yes, you will. And yes, you most definitely did. So why would you even do it in the first place? Now it says, did we make now it says, did we make AMC GME only PCO? 
position close only? Yes, aka we completely eliminated the buy button for AMC. You could only sell out of your position. It says, yeah, seeing the channel now, unfortunately. Unfortunate. It says, yeah, I figured this is such a horrible look industry-wide. Yeah, it is, Robin Hood. It's a very, very bad look, so why would you do it in the first place? Now, this is where things get even better for me, because this is with Gretchen Howard, who's that same person we just looked at, but also Vlad, aka the CEO of Robin Hood. So from Gretchen here. By the way, check out the dates, 127, 2021. Go back and see when they eliminated the buy button. Just an FYI that Dan and I are joining Jim at 5 p.m. on a call with Citadel. Why on earth are they so close to Citadel? Like, obviously, all these connections we've been making throughout this entire last several months are just getting confirmed more and more every single day even more with that right here so it says they reached out and want to speak this evening and we we believe they will make some demands on limiting pfof across the board we won't agree to anything but wanted to give you a heads up vlad says okay vlad said maybe this would be a good time for me to chat with ken griffin aka the ceo of citadel it says you guys can mention that i've never met him here it is everyone is you won't believe the convo we had with citadel a total mess i mean this stuff is absolutely crazy we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of pages here i picked out some of the good information that i've seen i won't read all of this but i definitely suggest you guys check this out read over it Take a look at as much as you possibly can. I mean, this just confirms everything we've been talking about over the last several months. So guys, before we move on to the second part of the video here, just tell me what you think about all of this information. Does this confirm what we've been talking about? Does this give you more hope for AMC and possibly something actually happening with this whole scenario? Not just a short squeeze. We hopefully a short squeeze will actually happen, but this is a movement. We want things to change on how the markets actually work. We think they're completely unfair. And looking at some of these messages, doesn't it confirm that the markets are completely unfair? Eliminating those transactions, completely getting rid of the buy button. Is that a fair and free market? I definitely would say it is most definitely not. Anyways, though, let's move on here. So here's from Yahoo Finance. The amount of naked shorting on AMC Entertainment. I mean, can you be any more blunt about it? It says the, the amount of naked shorting on AMC Entertainment is not included in the number of registered shares held short and could be significant. Okay, we've known this, but this is amazing to see it actually coming from mainstream media. It said naked shorting is an illegal market manipulation tactic where synthetic shares are lent between brokers and large hedge funds. Illegal, although they are doing it and the number is not included in that short interest number that obviously we take a look at. So essentially, once again, just confirming what we've been talking about for months and months and months. The short interest number we see on Ortex, it isn't real. It's good to see, but it just isn't real. It isn't an exact number of what is happening. Now, it also says AMC also also has a massive amount of trading activity occurring in the dark pool. The dark pool allows financial institutions and hedge funds to pretty much anonymously trade. So thank you Yahoo Finance for confirming all that. That was pretty good. And this pretty much sums up everything that we've been talking about for months and months and months. How much more evidence do you possibly need, SEC? Are you going to do something about this? This is absolutely crazy. And here we go with another person. It says, at Gary Gensler, retail investors have lost all faith in your office. He's the head of the SEC. AMC and GME are blatantly manipulated and you do nothing about it. 70% of certain stocks are traded in dark pools and nothing. That was also confirmed from the Yahoo Finance article. And it also highlights here, Vlad and friends lied under oath and still nothing. As we saw from the whole entire conversation between Vlad, between all of those executives, and nothing is happening. It says, Gary, do the right thing and do your job. Now, will he do his job? Will he won't? That is obviously a completely another question. That is for a different video. But obviously, all the evidence is being here. It's being forced to him. It's being forced to the entire SEC. I just want to tell you guys, eventually, something is going to actually have to be done. This can't just all continue to happen like this. Higher forces will eventually step in. They are going to have to do their job. We're going to see they're going to drag it out as long as possible, of course, but they're going to have to do their job. And you can believe Gary Gensler doesn't want to do his job. I can't make any accusations, just my opinion. But you can believe he probably doesn't want to do his job because there's probably some compensation, some monetary benefit for what he is doing and for what the entire SEC is letting happen here with all of these hedge funds. I mean, you know Citadel, billions and billions and billions of dollars. If they're giving you a billion dollars, are you going to just not say anything, not do anything? I mean, more than likely, you would do the same thing, right? Not saying any of that is happening. That is just a 
concept that you have to take into consideration here. Now, I also want to go over this real quick. It says, don't trust the new positive MSM, the mainstream media articles about the squeeze. It says they're going to hit us with the first fake squeeze and then throw everything they have to get the price down as much as possible. And you can't deny this because there's been a lot of articles lately from the mainstream media on the squeeze is coming and all these things that we've been confirming like that Yahoo Finance article. I mean, things are starting to turn to our side. Is the mainstream media doing this because they're like, wow, this is really getting blown up now. Things are going to go down. We better switch sides. Or are they doing this to ultimately have a fake squeeze? Hopefully all of us sell out. They can drive the price down, leave everybody else stuck. And then what happens is the hedge funds ultimately win in the end. Is that happening? Just something to be concerned of as this person says in this thread. Anyways, though, guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure and do the completely free tactic of subscribing hit the subscribe button hit that like button i appreciate it so much and as always guys i will see you in tomorrow's video which you better stay tuned for because it is a disruptive penny stock that you most definitely are going to want to hear about thank you guys and i will see you tomorrow